I am really enjoying The Last Sayuki. A couple weeks ago, I did a first impression of it where I was intrigued by the concept, and after reading the most two recent chapters today, I am very interested in seeing more. Part of me kind of wants to just wait for a full anime version, but who knows if and when that will happen, because, well, this is such new manga, and I honestly don't know if it's popular at all. I... No one on Twitter is talking about it except for one retweet from Matthew Lucas. So yeah, granted I also don't really follow many manga people, so who knows if this is actually popular. Anyway, back to the topic itself. Chapter 2 here focused on the conversation with Ryu and his father about Koharu. We learned that people's fears can become manifested into monsters, and these monster eggs are called Mao. Typically, the eggs are dormant, but they can be wakened by things such as Koharu's voice and also seeing things that are supposed to be impossible, like Koharu's powers. Ryu and his father find out that Koharu is likely locked herself into the storehouse, so Ryu goes after her to bring her back. In chapter 3, Ryu fights off the monster born of his fears in the storehouse, and that solidifies Ryu and Koharu into being a family. And then we get some more about the world and a larger story that's taking place. And Garfield's a lolicon, good to know. What I like about these two chapters is how it combines the genres of horror and shonen. And yes, I know shonen isn't a genre per se more of a demographic, but there's still a lot of tropes that it displays regardless of the genre itself. These are tropes like fighting courage with fear. That's the opposite. There are tropes like fighting fear with courage, the power of kindness, and the importance of friendship and family, and the last Sayuki is filled with all these, and they are shown so well. Then you have the backdrop of horror, and I love the contrast between the two. Anime horror can be really fascinating when it's done in a way like this. I should make a full video about that. And near the end of chapter 2, when Ryu is going into the storehouse, he ends up saying that he is terrified, but he has to be the one to go after Kaharu, so he goes in anyway despite his fear. And I just love the kindness of Ryu here, and actually all the characters. Kaharu would rather be hurt herself than risk harm to others. Ryu is literally facing his fears for her sake. We also get a flashback to Ryu's mother as she was dying and how she was apologizing to Ryu. There is a chain of kindness here, how these characters grow from each other. It reminds me a lot of March Comes In Like a Lion. And, well, anytime a story reminds me of March, well, that's a good thing. I like Ryu as a character, too. He is hot-headed, cares about people, is courageous. I mean, it's what you expect from a shonen main character, but I like that. And I think now that Kohara will be able to talk more, since she no longer has to worry about her, making Ryu's fears turn into a monster, there could be a lot with their relationship. We also get a glimpse at the larger plot here, with someone who has the power to bring out people's fears despite being an ordinary person, and then they are alluding that Koharu is also the demon lord, so I'm curious exactly how that uh, goes together. There are some obvious places they could go with that, but I'm hoping they'll do something at least a little bit different. I also want to talk about the art for this manga because it is really good. The monsters are monstrous, the action is filled with power, plus I can really feel the emotional bond between Ryu and Kaharu. It's hard for me to get into details about why the art is good, but it's able to make me feel, and that is the whole point of it, so it's doing very well here. So let me know, are you watching Last Sayuki? Are you clicking on this video regardless? And, I don't know, what are your thoughts about it? I think I might try to keep up with this weekly, maybe do a video once every few weeks or a month because it's kind of quick, and I was planning on doing a video about Marsh Comes In Like a Lion again today, but that did not happen because I was busy, and that one's going to take a bit more time. Anyway, thank you for watching, and I will see you all next time.